Hey you, what's going on everybody? Welcome. So Tuesday, August 2nd was definitely a big day. I posted four videos just because we got so much news related to WWE 2K17 that every single hour in the morning time we were getting something new. So what I want to do right now is in a very quick fashion, I want to recap you guys on everything that I covered for that day and pretty much every information that we got from WWE 2K17 for this week one of IGN WWE. 2k17 roster reveal remember there are four more weeks to go and i will be covering all of them so make sure you are tuning to my channel drop a like and subscribe but let's get right to it before the roster was even revealed the screenshot that we're going to be showing were released ahead of time so we got screenshots of the uso brock last now wrestlemania 31 chris jericho and the vela twins what was significant about these screenshots and i also made a whole video about it is the new features and improvement that you can see and of course the obvious one the graphics definitely looks better they look much more clear and the models definitely looks like they are much more high definition as you can see the texture the skin and much more defined but what i definitely most took away is the fact that one there's a new lighting system that they have that is definitely great improving the lighting in the outdoor yes outdoor arena because there will be an outdoor arena that will be wrestlemania 30 one i never thought the blue sky looked so great but yes that was represented not just in the brock lesnar picture but also in the picture inside the arena as the lighting just looked great the shadows were great and they were much more defined even during brock lesnar entrance video you could see brock lesnar's shadow in the ring and that was on the game last year but now you could just see it much more clear and defined and going back to the brock lesnar screenshot at wrestlemania 31 i discussed that this is definitely definitely a hint that we are gonna get the 2k showcase mode related to brock lesnar's career because usually previous arenas are not present in the game unless they are related to the showcase to the story mode of the game from the screenshot other things that we got was basically when it comes to the uso you can see that their face paint looks kind of fade out so does that mean that throughout the wrestling match are their face paint going to be fade off that is something that that we the fan has been waiting for for a long time and based on the images it definitely looks like it is the case so after that we got the first part of roster reveal so for this week one we basically got 19 stars confirmed well more like 18 because we already know that ultimate warrior was going to be in the game as he was revealed at e3 but nonetheless the following stars were confirmed aiden english booker t brian pillman brie bella chris jericho diego eric Rowan, Fernando, Heath Slater, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, Jim Hart, Connor from The Ascension, Larry Sabisco, Nikki Bella, Art Truth, Simon Gouch, Ultimate Warrior, and Victor. Not the most impressive first round, but nonetheless, it does the job to get us started. And then uh, we go to the big one. We got the full Brock Lesnar entrance, in which I also did a breakdown video of it. But the main thing that we got from that entrance is that we could see an area that is inside the crowd with tables a chair trash can and basically free space for us to go inside the crowd and actually fight so crowd fighting is coming back this is something we haven't seen since 2008 so i'm glad and the whole fan base is definitely glad that this is coming back now you have to wonder if they're bringing back crowd fighting does that mean that we're also going to be getting backstage fighting i would love if we get the backstage parking lot area in which we could have the backstage matches because that was great the other things uh, to take away from the entrance was that in commentary we had jbl michael cole and jerry the king lawler so it looks like that's gonna stay the same the raw set is still the old set but it is understandable considering the fact that they just changed it two weeks ago but the good thing is uh, that based on the t-shirt the game might not be that outdated after all we had fans wearing the seth rollins t-shirt with the new logo meaning of course we're gonna be getting updated attire for Seth Rollins and probably other guys as well other shirts uh, that were presented in the crowd by WWE fans were AJ Styles phenomenal shirt Dean Ambrose uh, Kevin Owens and we also have fans representing Roman Reigns so that is it guys uh, definitely a huge day when it comes to WWE 2k17 news next week for week two you could expect the same thing with new entrants being revealed 
video and also of course new superstars as well as more screenshots where we hopefully are able to find new features or something like that i will keep you guys coverage on everything that ww 2 k 17 so make sure you subscribe to my channel we're gonna have uh, four more weeks that are definitely gonna be huge let me know down in the comments below if i missed anything and also drop a like if you guys uh, found this news recap uh, very informative and if you want me to keep it going and if you want to be fully updated to everything that was revealed before this week go check my wwe 2k17 everything that we know so far video updated as of last month so if you watch this one and go watch that one then you're gonna be fully updated on everything but anyways guys uh, thank you guys for watching like i said drop a like if you guys found this informative we on the road to 2000 subscribers and much to y'all dig it